Well, there's about 48 hours until Michigan and Washington face off in the national championship. Our Chase Bachman and Tyler Segerman took off to Houston earlier today and are already getting set for Monday's game. Thanks, Noel. NRG Stadium, which we're just standing outside of right now, is getting set to host a national championship between number one ranked and unbeaten Michigan, who's getting ready to take on the Washington Huskies. And short turnaround for both teams, having just played on Monday, but still a position I'm sure the Wolverines want to be in, right, Chase? Tyler, that's right. I mean, there's some rarefied territory. Jim Harbaugh and the Wolverines are playing for a definitive national title for the first time since 1998. And a big reason why J.J. McCarthy, he has been spectacular for the Wolverines all season, even when it doesn't show up in the stat sheet. He is in some unique territory as a Michigan quarterback. He said this opportunity is like no other. I can only speak for myself personally. I feel like it really hasn't. You know, everything that we've done to get here, uh, we're continuing to do the same thing. So I think we keep the same approach and, you know, treat it as, you know, obviously it's the national championship, but it's a football game at the end of the day. We got to go out there and execute each and every play. And, you know, that's how we're treating it right now. And I congratulate Washington, um, undefeated, taking on all comers. You know, I can see why, why they've won all their games. I mean, they're an outstanding, thorough, solid football team in every way. They got a quarterback that has the it factor. Um, so do we. You know, there, there's we we got a quarterback with the it factor, um, and a and a really really good team in all phases. Obviously, plenty of fans going to be traveling down from Michigan and a lot of maize and blue in support already here in Houston, but we got a little first-hand experience ourselves on our flight. Yeah, Tyler, if there's any indication from our flight here from Detroit to Houston, uh, the Wolverines are going to have a ton of support at NRG Stadium. We caught up with some fans on our flight. I mean, this is like going to the Super Bowl, but, you know, yeah. for college football. I'm not originally from Michigan, but I went to school in Michigan, and, uh, and uh, this is the first time in my fandom that they've gone this far, so I'm pretty pretty stoked. Excited, a little nervous about Washington, but I'm pretty excited, and I think we can pull it out. In Jesus' name, this is our season. Like, Michigan, it's been years in the making. I've had two, like, past New Year's just feeling, like, so sad, defeated. My whole family hated me because I was in a bad mood. But for the first time in a long time, I am so happy. I've got my free hardball T-shirt in the bag that I'll be wearing at the game. But uh, I think it uh, is a culmination of, uh, you know, as Harbaugh says, who's got it better than us? No one. Watching them the last two years losing on New Year's Eve was just not, not good. And now that we finally pulled it through, better win it all this year. This is huge. Where, where we were at in 2020, winning two or three games, and now to turn it around and be here and the opportunity and then watching them drop Alabama last week. As soon as we got back from Cali, that was all we could think about. Just like the go our life. school, our team, and go to the national championship while we're still students here. It's like, are you crazy? We can't miss opportunity. We had to go. <laughs> we, to. we just used whatever money we had left. We literally had to come. Like we oh, just right had away. to. You can really sense how special this moment is for those fans and tomorrow obviously we're going to hear from both coaches right yeah the michigan fan base is spectacular they're going to hear from head coaches jim harbaugh and kaylin devore from washington we'll have that coverage tomorrow for you on wtol 11.